In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Desmos to graph linear equations. So you're just going to go up to Desmos, oops, you're just going to go to Desmos.com, so D-E-S-M-O-S.com, and this is what it looks like. If you sign in, you'll be in our class. Uh, most of you have already signed up for that, but for the purpose of today, you're just going to click right here where it says graphing calculator. And this is what your screen looks like. I'm going to use the examples that we just learned how to graph together from our graphing slope intercept form notes to show you how to do it using Desmos. So in line one, I'm just going to type in y equals, and I'm going to type in the equation 2x plus 1. Now you can either use this keyboard that's down here at the bottom of the screen, or you can type all this using your keyboard on your computer. So you can see that we have our equation here. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. The great thing about Desmos is that you can click on it. So if I click this point right here, it tells me that that is a point zero one. So I know my y-intercept is at one and that this point right here is a point negative 0 0.50. I could click up here and I could find out what that point is by scrolling, all of these things. So Desmos is a very useful tool. I could also, um, so if I wanted to, I could change the color so I can make it go away. You could, if I hit, um, so I just cleared it out, but if you hit this little gear, you can change the color and things like that too. So let's try the next example. The next one we graphed was y equals negative two thirds. So to do a fraction, you just do two divided by, and see how it automatically makes it a fraction, three. And then you wanna use the arrow over to get out from underneath the denominator. And I'll have x minus three. So here is that equation. If you wanted to change it, you could hit this little settings gear and you could change the color. You could change it to be a dashed line or a dotted line. Um, you can do all of those things right here in Desmos. Again, if I wanted to know my x-intercept, I could click on that point and it will tell me that my x-intercept is at negative 4.50 and my y-intercept is at zero, negative three. For the next one in our notes that we did, we had, this one was not in standard form. And this is why Desmos is so cool, because it, or not in slope intercept form. So it doesn't matter what form it's in, it will still graph the line for you. So this is that equation. In our notes, we had to solve for y before we graphed it. And on Desmos, we don't have to. Here we can see that our y-intercept is at the point in zero six on our x-intercept is at the point three zero. Um, if you wanted to, you could just go down to line two, just click on it, and you could type in the other equation that we did. So we also did y equals one half, I gotta use the arrow to get out of underneath the denominator, x plus four. And here's that equation. Again, if you click on the points, you can see what different values are. My y-intercept is at zero, four. My x-intercept, I can just move my graph to find that. That's at the point negative eight, zero. And you could keep going on and on forever, right? The next one that we did was y equals negative x minus one. If it's too many things on the screen, you can just hit the x's and get them off. Here you can see your x-intercept is negative one and your y-intercept is negative one. If you haven't played around with us on your own yet, I highly recommend that you do. Just go to desmos.com, click on graphing calculator and start entering in your equations. That way you know how to use this. This tool will be available to you on tests and it will also be available to you on the Georgia Milestone that you will take in the spring. So this is definitely something that you want to get to learn how to use. That way, when it comes time for testing, you know how to use it. 
If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. I am more than happy to assist you.